a brand new image AI model that outperforms Stable Fusion XL? Well, that's what Playground claims, and it is free to use both on Playground right now and locally to download. So let's check it out and see if their claims are true. Oh, and why was the baby jalapeno shivering? It was a little chilly. Introducing Playground version 2, a new commercially open model from our team that we trained from scratch. Most notably, our model was preferred two and a half times more than the current leading open model SDXL. Let's quickly look at the comparison here. So this is Playground V2 and this is SDXL. Now, okay, I know what you're saying, guys. They did the comparison with the SDXL base model, which isn't fantastic. But I mean, it is what it is. We're going to have to uh, make sure that you guys compare it to the custom SDXL models and see if it can outperform them. From the results that we're uh, showing here, the Playground V2, I mean, it looks kind of cool. And he continues on, you, says, you can try the model on our website, the Playground. Well, it doesn't say that here, but you can actually download the Fuser models on it. Uh, it says, read our full blog post on the benchmark. So we're gonna do that. So here's the, the blog post. So here, here's a couple of example images. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys. And this is, we're providing open weights for Playground V2 an early preview of our efforts to make increasingly powerful graphic models. And it says that this model is also avail available on Hugging Face. We're going to get to that in a bit. Commercial use is permitted. I'm going to show you how you can download it and uh, we'll see if um, we can get some, something running from it. Here's a couple of cool images. I mean, it looks kind of cool. A little bit too smooth, in my opinion. I would love to see some photorealism as well. This is just those, those kind of SDXL smoothed out images that um, I think people like when they see a comparison, it's like, oh, I like that one, but they get tired of it kind of quickly, you know? But who am I to judge? I don't know. And that's what they say here. And the early benchmarks have shown the playground is, is preferred to have times more than Stable Fusion XL when we talked about already. Again, I would have loved to seen that with a better SDXL model than, than the base one. There's some more data here if you want to go check that out. This is basically just the, the user data from the comparisons. I'm going to link that in the description below. Here's again the same comparison we saw earlier. And it says also the baseball weights are available in 256 and 512 pixel stages on Hugging Face. However, if you do some clever searching around, you can actually find this one, which is the 1024 aesthetic model. So we're going to download this in a bit. If you don't want to do that and just want to play with it now, it is available on playground.com. And when you log in, you're going to have basically a user interface. If you never used this before, I mean, the prompt is to the left here. You have some settings to the right. You have the size, the guidance, quality details, seed, whatever. Let's take some prompts here from the main page. So let's take this one. looks pretty realistic. And this was made with uh, Table Fusion XL. So we're just going to copy this. We're going to take the negatives here. Oh, that was the same ones. Okay, cool. Uh, did it have any special settings here? They used Hoyn at A. Yeah, we're just going to do Euler A for now. We're going to generate this. And we're doing a CFG of 3, which is uh, low, but that was the default value here. So I'm just keeping that. I lower the steps a little bit to the 30 instead of the 50. But I mean, this is uh, it's kind of coolish. It's not as good as this one here. This is very realistic. This is more of a painterly and mid-journey kind of vibe. Let's change this into raw photo of raw photo portrait of woman riding the bus. Cinematic film still color graded. We're just going to leave the, the negative ones and generate a new one here. I mean, it's a little better. We're getting some good blur here on the background. However, I, th I think the faces uh, and the skin in general is a little too smooth, a little too airbrushed. Eyes are a little weird. But I mean, it's just one image, one seed. Can't judge it fully on that. I'm expecting you guys to uh, go test it out. And let me know in the comments below what you think about it uh, so far. Uh, let's just take a prompt that's more stylist here. Let's take this blue. No, so I would, would have liked a little longer prompt. But I mean, sure, let's try. Okay, let's copy this. We have blue eyes, red, black hair, rusty helmet, crowds of medieval cat. Night. We got some sort of a man here wearing a helmet with <laughs> cat ears and a cat in, in his lap as well. That's kind of kind of wild. I think we're gonna head back into um, the prompts here and find something where we have some more styling here. So here we go. You have some oil painting here. 
This one's kind of cute. Just gonna remove that so it doesn't mess with the prompt. So you have oil painting, vibrant colors, very long hair, exquisitely decorated medieval tapestry background, yada, 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 yada. So this is more of a painterly style, but, but honestly, I don't know what they were comparing to. Well, obviously, I know it was the base model, but whatever I'm testing, like all these images with custom Excel models, when I take the prompts and put them in here, they aren't fantastic. Now, this do, I think, I think they had Euler at 50 steps as a default. So we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt a little bit. So three was the CFG, 50 was the steps, and Euler was the, the sampler. So this should be the default settings for playground. Ah, it's not much better, to be honest, I have to tell you. So let me see if I can get this running locally for you guys. I'm not gonna make any promises. Well, I did get it to run locally, just not probably not in the way that it's supposed to. But I'm not a developer. One of you guys can probably tell me how to make it better. Anyway, uh, let's he head into that now. So we're at hacking phase and files and versions here. And if you go into the unit here, you actually have some safe tensors. So I lo downloaded this one which is the full 10 gigabyte file. You can download the FP16. It's not gonna make too much of a difference. And what you can do then is you can go into your uh, comfy folder, models, unit, and then you're gonna drop that in here. I renamed it playground, so I know which one it is. And whenever you head back into um, comfy, let me actually show you here. You must load a default here now. So if you get, let me zoom in, if you get unit loader, you can actually load the playground model here. And instead of uh, loading the checkpoint here, we're going to drag that into our case sampler. Now, this isn't really how it is intended. So bear with me. I'm not a comfy expert by any means. If you load an uh, Excel model here just for the clip and the VAE, well, you can load a VAE manually if you want to. VAE loader, load an SDXL VAE drag that to there and if we run this now let's actually change the resolution here 1024 by 1024 you will actually load from the unit loader and use that model while creating our image now we will use the clip from our uh, base sdxl or, or you know the other the older versions but honestly i have i don't know how to load the clip from the diffusers uh, when it's uh, like this um, if you do help me out put it in the comments below this was uh, how I managed to load it. And you know, it, it kind of actually works. And you can see, let's set this to fix. to change this to one here. Let's lower the C CFG to three, which they had as a default. We're using Euler again. And if we run this, just to get the baseline here, I'm going to show you guys here. Okay, this is the image. Looks, well, actually pretty good. And if we take the model then, which is the Excel model, my Sebastian's Merge, and this playground isn't being used, and we're queuing this up, you will see that we're actually generating a different image. So that tells me we're on to something, or well, it actually semi-works. So let's see if we can um, make some comparisons here. So let's take this prompt here, drag that into here. I'm gonna take the negatives here, put that into the negatives here. Now this is just the base text encoding or the prompt nodes. You could load like, um, I think there's the like SDXL base prompt encoders. I tested a little bit with that. I'm not sure if that's better. But what, what my goal was with that was to try to replicate the results from playground into here. Now I didn't manage to do that even though you know, I tried to get all the settings, but we are getting, you know, similar looking results. Again, is this the best way to do it? Probably not, but, but you know, it kind of works and it doesn't look terrible compared to the images in, in Playground. And I mean, if you look at this one here and that one there, you know, they're almost trying to do the same thing. Let's take this one here, do that one. And we had, what, 30 steps for that? 30. I mean, this is kind of good. We got a cat in... Uh, little helmet here and actually got the the ears out this time as well I was, I was quite happy with this image now we have the playground mode loaded here let's take this one the raw photo of woman riding the bus let's load that up in there did we have a yes we had the negatives for that one as well and i mean we're getting similar ratio results are they great no is it getting there maybe let me know what you think. This was just released like half an hour ago. So I'm just trying to find a way so you can, uh, you know, play with it. 
Again, don't be afraid to show me a better way down in the comments. I really want to learn. As always, have a good one. See ya!